Good morning, you guys. This is what we're gonna do. This is the plan. What we're gonna do is we are going to leave the house. And then we're gonna take our truck and we're gonna drive the truck to the store. And from the store, we're gonna get a steak. And we're gonna cook that steak on a barbecue once we get up to the camp. Then when we go from the store that we got our steak, we're gonna cook on the barbecue is we're gonna drive into the forest through the public lands. We're gonna see if we can find a fire road to get up on top of the mountains. We'll get up about maybe six, 6,000 feet or so and we'll find a spot to camp up here on top of the mountain. Should be fun. I think we can do it. Do you guys think we can do it? All right. This is seriously one of my, definitely the top three favorite grocery stores of all time. Let's see here. Spot right for you, Wally. Oh man, all right, let's see. Hopefully you guys can hear me, they're rolling the window. All right, so I just bought a, a, like a, a ribeye steak that is like a, a pound, over a pound and a half. I can't wait to show you. It was an impulse buy. We were going for steak and I figured, you know what? Might as well go big, right Wally? So Wally in here, you'll definitely be getting some of that. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna keep on traveling. We're pretty close to our destination. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys up on, the, up on the fire roads once we get in the forest a little bit more. What do you think of that tree, Wally? That's a good one too, huh? A oh, big old tree. about maybe six six thousand feet or so and we'll find a spot to camp up here on top of the mountain okay this is our destination to cook a giant steak tonight look at this view the GoPro's not gonna do it justice, but we are way up here. What do you think, Harry? I don't know if I'll be busting out a fire pit just because when you're up on these kind of areas up here, there's not a lot of wood. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of garbage, which is nice, although I don't know what that is, but somebody left something in there. And I do, I do see a few other, what is this? Oh, score, like a pin. We can write notes. Wait a minute. This says Milwaukee. What is this? Oh, looks like it's a Milwaukee power tool Sharpie. That's cool. All right, anyway, we're gonna go kind of explore around real quick and then, uh, yeah, we'll bring it back. Wait a minute. That's an oak tree leaf. It's a black oak. That used to be a black oak. Mic check, microphone. Oh, okay. Mic check, testing, one, two, three, okay. Okay guys, well, this is where we're camping. We got the big steak. We got a whole bunch of snacks. We got Wally, Harry's in the truck, and uh, we're gonna get everything ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to find the North Star tonight. We're gonna cook a whole bunch of awesome food, and uh, this view is cool. I've never been here before, and thanks for coming along with us. Let me know what you think. Give me some comments about this place. What do you guys think about it? Pretty cool? Hope you guys are out having a good time camping too. And thanks for everybody that kind of follows along with this stuff. I know we're a small channel, but I enjoy talking to every single one of you guys who drop a comment on there. So we're gonna get some beers down us. We'll take you around the camp in a little bit, but first I'm just gonna get everything situated. Well, you look, you guys want your mountain snacky set? Sit down. Go ahead, Harry, that's for you. He's like this for me. It is. All right, good job, guys. Go 
way is this gonna work? We are really overexposed on this. Look what I got. Ooh. Hey, let's play another round of what's in the cooler. What's in the cooler? This is San Francisco style potato salad, homemade. And what makes it a San Francisco style is that it tastes like sourdough and smells like hippies. Also, we got USDA choice cowboy steak. What they mean by cowboy steak is it's a ribeye cut, super, super thick. This sucker was $16.99 a pound. This is over a pound and a half. This is 1.615 pounds. This cost me $27.44, but I ended up working two extra days. So I got extra cash and I'm gonna blow it on a steak and I'm gonna share this with my friend. Brought a spare bratwurst. A little thing of Dilly Bite, still working on our jar of Bruno's Wax Pepper. Oh, I got this at the store too. I've never seen this kettle brand before. Go Ju Chang. Let's take a look around our camp spot. We still got lots of sunlight left. Oh, we got some wildflowers popping. Come in with our big camera and start zooming in all the flowers. So we got, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a bone of some sort. Anyway, I'm gonna get some of the garbage out of the, we're gonna put all the garbage that we find here, but we're good because there isn't a lot of garbage, so. There's a lot of bees around here, Wally. You're not gonna wanna bite it. I don't hear anything rattling, so that's good. Yeah, calling me peak right there. You guys want some snacks? I think we should get some snacks. Guy with the buffalo. You know you're not camping until you bust out easy cheese. Oh yeah. Let's make two. Let's make three. Brunos. Big Brunos. Let's see how they taste. Going in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Want them? If the sky stays clear, I have a feeling tonight I'm going to be pleasantly surprised by the stars. <laughs> Look at what we have here. She's an oldie, but a goodie. Look at that. What's well, one of those with over 315,000 miles on her? Out here in a natural habitat. Look at it. What a beauty. Okay guys, so here's the deal. Here's what we're doing. We just kind of tidied up camp a little bit. We're gonna tidy it up a little bit more, but it is now, what, quarter to five? No, I'm sorry, 10 minutes to five o'clock. It is right around 62, 63 degrees Fahrenheit. I would say winds are variable out of the southwest. Um, beautiful weather, but it is time to do what we do best. Time to crack a cold one. 
at our campsite. So I just want to say cheers to everybody that is tuning in. I still don't know why you do, but here's to you. This bud's for you. Thanks for coming along with me. It's always fun to have somebody to talk to. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm gonna try to put the binoculars up to my GoPro. <laughs> Kind of work. All right, give you a little update where we're at at camp. You see I got my beanie on because the temperature's dropping really quickly even though the sun is still fairly high in the sky. We got at least an hour before it's gonna go down. It's almost about seven o'clock, so maybe a little bit longer. Wally seems to be, they think there's gophers or something around here because he is intent on sniffing stuff out and his nose is all dirty because he's kind of Digging in the holes and stuff. Yo, Wally. All right, all right. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. So I decided to take on a little. I decided to take on a little project um, while I'm waiting for the sun to go down. And this is my project. So I really like this camp spot that I found. And there is one other spot that is fire ring, but then there's this thing, which is also a fire ring. Now, sorry, Wally, excuse me. Um, I get it. This is a, you know, it's an okay fire ring. I mean, it's doing its purpose, right? You got a bunch of rocks all around here, but um, this fire ring's terrible. This is way too big. It's got a way big old piece of log in here. I'm not going to dismantle the fire ring because people camp here, I can tell. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the fire pit and make it a better fire pit. Let's, uh, let's get to work. Let's see what it's going to look like. And I'm only using the axe to bust up part of this. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to fix the, uh, I'm going to fix the rocks. So let's see how we do while I watch out. In. What do you want? Oh. Let's go ahead and keep the stump over here. That way if somebody does want the stump, they could use it. Make it look a little bit more natural. There you go. How's that? There's a decent fire pit. This looks pretty good. So I'm not gonna use a fire tonight because I'm lazy and I got my propane fire over there. Plus I don't want to waste all the wood because once you burn that up, there's not a lot left. But yeah, good little project. So let's go back to drinking some beer. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Good deal. Okay. Cold for chihuahuas. There you go, buddy. Put your poofy on. I know, that's annoying, huh? You don't like it. You know where you are. <laughs> are you chilly? Why are you shaking? And now here's Ryan with the weather report. Well, as you can see, we have some poofy clouds in the sky. Back to you. Thanks, Ryan. We'll check back in later. This is the roost. All the birds took off though. It got chilly. I still can't believe we got this beautiful spot. Hey, if you're following along this far, thank you. Drop a comment, man. Let me know what you think about this stuff. I love coming up here and camping. Just uh, very fortunate to, uh, to live where I live and do what I do. Zooby-doo, zooby-doo. All right, so now, this is what Ansel Adams called the range of light. Let's see. Oh, that's zoomed in. Shoot. Zoomed out. Zoomed in. Yeah, I need to get a better lens.
you think? You get a fire going? 42. Okay, it's 44 degrees at camp. We got our, well, I, I feel a little bad about not starting a regular campfire. I don't say feel a little bad. I would like to start a regular campfire. It's just that, yeah, this is, there. yeah, we're, I'm way too exposed on this. When I get deep in the forest, we'll do it. So next time we'll be able to start a real campfire. That'll be on my mission. But I said that last time. So well, who knows what's gonna happen. But it is about a quarter after eight o'clock here in the beautiful Sierra Nevada mountains. We just watched a really cool sunset. And I'm always amazed on how if you stare at a sunset, it seriously like, you can watch the sunset. So that's pretty cool. Um, the beautiful view is even getting more beautiful. I haven't seen the first star yet, but I know I'm gonna geek out on that. I don't need to show you guys all that stuff because I don't wanna make this video too long. <laughs> Harry, Harry's right up in the truck over there and they're all waiting to cook the giant cowboy steak that we got. And I am also ready to cook the giant cowboy steak. Oh my God, this might take a while to cook, but that's okay. And I got all the propane in the world to do it. Yes. I usually like to pat down the steaks. Oh my God, dude. All right. Lowry's. By the way, you guys ever eaten at Lowry's? I think it's in like Hollywood or LA somewhere. I have, it's really good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic salt. Then we're gonna want the Montreal. Now I've heard this a few times, but you have something this thick, it's okay to season the crap out of the outside because there's so much more steak that it's not gonna ruin it. So I'm gonna go all around with the garlic salt. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna let this wrap it back up in its seasoning. Yeah, I used to work in a meat department, so. Okay, we're gonna let that. I got a white onion. So we'll use to clean the barbecue. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Everybody's got one of these awesome barbecues. <laughs> I love these things. They're beaters, they last forever. Get this sucker as hot as we can. Hopefully it works, let's find out. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, you guys, so. This is screaming hot, and we are going to put a, first you gotta turn your, first you gotta turn your tongs on. This is how you do that. Okay, now these tongs are on. Now they're off, now they're on. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab an onion. We'll put this on the barbecue. Hear the sizzle? Oh, that smells good. All right. Now, with this big old guy, how I'm gonna play it is I am just gonna keep on, I'm gonna, I am going to turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. I'm not doing the three and seven because that ain't gonna work. Something this thick, no way. Look at that, ready? Okay, first, first turn. Oh, I don't look bad, but I'm gonna get a little more crust on there. Woo, we're gonna be battling steak tonight. Time for the steak update. Nice. 
will be battling the fire, but that's okay. Well, it's just something we're gonna have to deal with. Man versus fire. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That smells good. That closed. It's only rocking at like 112 on that side. But it's like 123 a little bit further, so I'm just gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pull it off and we're gonna let this beast rest. We are gonna give this beast a wonderful long sleep. So let's go ahead and put it over here. Okay, put our onion there. Let's uh, let's see how she turned out. That was good. I'm just gonna stab it just to see. This is 123. 120, 119, 122, okay. But it's it's that medium, it's that medium rare feel on my tongue, so let's see. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I need to find out if this is, if this is cooked awesome or if it's screwed up. We're about to find out. Go ahead, put it on the old cutting board. Yeah. Should we steak vision it? Oh, it's already steak visioned out. Okay, here we go. And I was like, you guys see it? Let's take an end. Let's give it to this fat piece. Okay. Oh! It's medium, dang it. Dang it. I over, well, let's see. Okay, wait, just on that end right there. All right, I'm going, that's medium rare plus. Let's go ahead and cut it right. Well, hold on. You guys are like, I'm kind of left handed or right handed, but anyway, watch this. Dang it. I overcooked the big steak. <laughs> Shoot. I mean, it's not that overcooked, but it, look at that. Oh. Mmm. Okay, that's good. We are gonna get the meat sweats. A little zoo action. Here. You guys are gonna get a bunch. Where you go, Harry? What are you been waiting for? Oh, dude. Okay, that is good. That is delicious. We're gonna turn this into steak awesome. Stay tuned. We're gonna get the meat sweats. <laughs> oh man. Yep. And then I even have my potato salad to go with this. Now let's step party. Party. You wanna see? Mmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at it. Look at this, guys. We're gonna get the meat sweats. I know. 
this. Right? Let's try a little white onion on here. You guys kind of mean. Oh yeah, that's good. Don't worry, you guys get yours. I'm gonna eat all this to my head. So, before I go to bed, I'm setting up my GoPro to do like a night lapse. We'll see if that turns out any good, but I'm gonna hang out here, finish my beer, eat a whole bunch of meat, and then we'll get crawling in the truck here in a little bit, because we got Wally's and Harry's. I'll put some choice gravy mix cuts along with their kibble. And yeah, we're gonna see some sneaky farts later. Okay. No. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Harry, come here. There you go. There you go, Harry. Try it. There you go. <laughs> I'm getting the meat sweats. I haven't even tried the potato salad yet. What are you asking yourself? You should have did some regular potatoes. But I was feeling potato salad. <laughs> oh. Let's see what this, this potato, let's get the honest taste test. No, that's good, that's got like a pickle in it. No, that's really good. Definitely get that again. Hopefully you guys can, yeah. Hope you guys can hear me and see me, but we are, well as you can see, we're, we're still a little madness at the camp tonight. This potato salad is really good. I'm gonna hang out here and I'm gonna marinate for a little bit. Listen to all the sounds of the wilderness and then we'll jump in the truck and I'll see you guys in the truck. Come on, Harry, you gotta turn the camera off. When we stole the batteries. <laughs> what are you doing? Where'd you go? Is the time. Okay. Wait, okay, you go to the bathroom. Okay, guys. Okay. It's time for bed. This is the truck camping part, right? Anyway, we do a boy Wally. Might read a book a little bit, but it's late. It is, it's almost midnight and... Okay guys, I'll see you in the morning. Once I find the button, there it is. Boarded. It's early, man. We should get up and watch the sunrise. Nah. Want some coffee? Well, I was gonna sleep in. I rarely get up before the sunrise, but that was pretty cool. Since we are kind of exposed out here, it's gonna heat up fairly quickly, although it's not supposed to get, well, I think it's supposed to be mild temperatures today, but it's been holding steady at 50 degrees right now, so that ain't too bad. But then again, we are up on a hill. I'm gonna make some coffee, we're gonna clean up the camp, and uh, get this day rolling.
scary. So while we're cleaning up camp, let's see, let's see all the garbage that we got. And honestly, there was not that much garbage. So again, thank you to everybody that helps clean up our public lands. This is what we found. Found that crazy Sharpie. I got two camel cigarette butts. We got some string. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, it looks like a top to a, a gas canister, maybe. We got a 38 Special. I got a 20 gauge shotgun. Some whatever that is. And then a piece of, piece of glass bong that was in the fire. <laughs> and then the rope. And then that. So this place gets an A plus. I would say, no, an A plus would mean there would be nothing. So like definitely like a, a good A. Uh, but we're gonna take that with us while we're cleaning up our camp. <laughs> Garbage cleaned up. All right, well, I'm sitting here waiting for my coffee to percolate. It finally started. That's good. Once that gets boiling, we're going to enjoy a cup of coffee out here and listen to some birds, hang out with my dogs, and then we'll clean up this place to make it better than it was. We did pretty good with that fire pit too. So yes, always practice, leave no trace. Thanks everybody for coming along with me on this camping adventure. We should just call it like drinking beers adventures in the mountains, right? No, that's dumb. That's dumb. Okay. All right. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Come down here.